On this video, I'm going to just introduce the idea of central dogma. Now, we're going to do a whole different video lecture series just about this, but I wanted to point out that when you talk about, at this point in this history of DNA research, after all those scientists actually discovered uh, that DNA was definitely the key, a lot of scientists understood that genetic information equals DNA, but that we are made of proteins. And so comes that idea, what's more important, what we're made of or what tells us what to make and how to make the things that we're made of. Um, and in fact, as we're going to learn soon, in order to make DNA and actually copy DNA and actually even hold DNA together, you're going to need proteins. And so you need DNA to make proteins, but you need proteins to make DNA. And so it's that catch-22 situation of what's more important kind of thing. But the central dogma of biology is the idea that DNA is the blueprint, it is the key, and that based on DNA, you're going to make proteins through a molecule called RNA that acts like a messenger that carries the genetic information from the nucleus through the cytoplasm of the cell where the protein synthesis is taking place and the information of genetic information is converted or expressed into an actual protein. And we're going to be learning more about that in a future video. I just wanted to introduce this idea of central dogma or the idea that DNA is the blueprint but you are proteins and that the bridge between the two is the RNA molecules involved in the protein synthesis process. Now, DNA is organized in eukaryotic cells in, in linear molecules called chromosomes. We talked about that in the previous lecture series. Now, these chromosomes contain inside of them genes. Each gene codes for one specific protein and each gene is copied or transcribed into RNA and then translated into proteins by the addition of amino acids and that's what they're showing you here in the screen. You are a combination of cells. Each one of your cells have DNA. That DNA is organized into chromosomes which is basically a large double helix all coiled around proteins called histones. That DNA has to be translated into protein through a process called DNA protein synthesis which is first transcribing the DNA from the gene into a one RNA, which has basically a copy of that one gene, and then that RNA gets translated into protein through the protein synthesis process by basically putting a bunch of amino acids, which are the uh, molecules that have this structure, strung them together to make proteins like that. But that protein comes from the information that's stored in the DNA through the central dogma. And that's what central dogma is all about. On the next video, we're going to talk about the structure of the DNA molecule or the basic components of the DNA molecule. See you guys then.